next two things is the tablecloth. As you see, this is beautiful, just gorgeous for maybe for photos it will be or something like this. Just enormously beautiful. Probably I will make photos with food on it. Just because I so love it. It's simple but it's gorgeous. Other thing that uh, somehow Israel famous of a, a lot of Israeli people have a lot of children and the um, tables that they open are very huge and a lot of family in the, in the past over or whatever when the gathering it can be either 30 40 people in one gathering at home so they need huge tablecloths and the quality is very high so usually for all my friends I'm bringing this type of tablecloth this pretty amazing it's yellowish and golden color it's four meters it's four meters, you don't need to iron it, it's just beautiful as it is. Just wash it and it's um, stain resistant. So it's a very useful one, you can have one of those for all of your life. And I love this. The thing that I brought for, um, let's say, kitchen, it's this coffee pot for black coffee, famous coffee pots, you know. It's very convenient for coffee and sometimes for uh, boiling eggs or something if you need to just to heat something or heat, it's really nice and uh, cute. Love this. Okay, next stage I'm going to souvenirs. Something little pretty things for my friends and uh, family here. Like, I'm, I don't have a lot of family here. No, I don't have any family. But, you know, friends are family that we are choosing for ourselves. So, I consider them to be my family. And uh, this is... Uh, this beautiful, cute... It's a refrigerator magnet. Just cute dolphin. And those stuff. This is for home blessing. It's pretty cute. I love those. On the wall or in the car sometimes people put it. Really nice stuff. This is a key holder with a book of psalms inside. And this is true book so you can read. If you will open it, it will be psalms in this. And this is the size of the book. Pretty cool stuff. I love this. And this is this exactly the same, but with a leather-like casing. Really cute one. It uh, should bring you luck or something, but it's nice to have. Another thing that I brought is um, soaps. And those are decorative soaps. Uh, and you see, it's hamsa or hand for good luck. You place it inside your bath on the wall and uh, the warmth and the humidity, it brings every time you smell and uh, dissolve the um, soap and it smells all the time. It's have pretty cute, you see, I brought it in two colors yellow and green ah, smells very good just because they're so unique and uh, different you know I love them so much another interesting thing another beautiful thing that I brought from Israel are those one, two, three, four, five, six package of six cups. It's not cup, it's um, handmade and hand painted and uh, here it's like written cheers. Beautiful for presents or for myself. Love those. Really great little 
cups. Sorry, glasses. It's not cups, it's glasses. You see, they come in this type of uh, thing, and there is different uh, colors. I brought, uh, I brought uh, purple as well. This is blue one, but purple as well. Something very cute. And why I encourage people to buy cheap liners? This because most of the liners made in uh, two countries. 90% of the liners made, it's lip liners, eyeliners, any liners in general, jumbo liners, um, in pencil shape, I mean. Everything that is pencil is usually made in Germany, 90% of the time, and 10% in uh, China. So, the German is they are very particular with their uh, regulations and health issues and everything. So, if, if they are made in Germany, they are very safe to use, even if they cost dollar. So, think about it. And um, you can go and read. I have here three... I have two uh, from um, their cover girl ones and they made in Germany as well so the cheapest one and the priciest one everything made in Germany in one or two places and that's it factories that make it and uh, if you love the quality don't uh, think twice buy them and that's why I bought those ones and then I bought black from other uh, brand cheap one as well and this was horrible and those ones were absolutely beautifully, they stay on. And actually I have on my eyes now three of those colors. The white one, the blue one, the green one. So I think this one is pretty brilliant to buy. All of them cost me, I think, under 12 bucks, I would say. I'm pretty sure. Maybe a little more, but still, it's really nice. It's... Uh, very beautiful and the interesting part then those two colors i don't know if you see they are pretty good duplicate for new mac collection a uh, sailor i think the summer college collection so i was very excited about those two colors uh, if you want swatches or whatever I can make separate video because I don't want to overstuff this video. It's going to be long anyways. Another thing, this like jumbo pencil of NYX is from China. So I'm not sure that I'm going to buy this another time. I prefer buy something from uh, made in Germany. This one, the, the black one, was so horrible and after one line I was all black like panda. But I think it will be pretty brilliant for uh, Halloween. So anyway, I will use this in upcoming Halloween. I hope it, the information information was clear enough and um, was helpful, helpful. So it doesn't matter if you buy very like if Saint Laurent or uh, anything like Lancome, very very pricey pencils. If you can find a good color and good uh, decent quality uh, of the pencil and if you don't know how to choose it I can make separate video how to choose pencil with the swatches just let me know so this pretty amazing stuff and cheap one so I really I was really pleased with this buy okay the other stuff that you usually should buy bring from Israel is the Dead Sea product the Dead Sea products in Israel considered to be cheap ones. Or like, they're not so cheap cheap, but they are as definitely bargain into it. Because it's so many, um, so, so many uh, products that are available in Israel and variety is amazing. In North America, hard to get over uh, by them and uh, they usually cost a lot of money. So, if you are going there, you have to consider 
fair amount of space in your luggage to bring those. And another thing, this is the salt from Delt C Premier. It's a health and beauty Dead Sea Minerals for a um, bath. It smells amazing. The only thing that you care is that uh, if you are taking it to your um, luggage, they will open the luggage to check that it's closed because it's like looks like minerals and they will ask you on the border if you how much you brought and if you bought it and where you bought it so just be aware of this every time you bring salt from um, Israel they will do it and I didn't know it until I started to bring it it's pretty cool another it's the same the same idea this is the oh sorry this is salt a luxury collection of hand and foot cream and body lotion it's pretty cool uh, pretty cool stuff it's uh, not so pricey I don't remember how much it uh, cost but it's cost quite reasonable amount of money less definitely less that you will pay in United States and uh, I know that you have a Dead Sea Premier here in Canada I saw it in, when I went to United States as well and it's priced at least three times as much here than there uh, another uh, just different sizes it's just body lotion, body lotion uh, food and um, hand creams in uh, it's uh, 225 meals so it's pretty decent amount this is a little less but you have uh, salt as well here so it smells very good it smells like I don't know perfume maybe feel that I brought is beautiful this party present package you see you have beautiful and luxury uh, towels you have beautiful you see here beautiful rose petals and gorgeous things and this is pretty unique product this is a uh, soap with natural 24 carats uh, golden it like true gold so this is for very luxury and beautiful thing. I love it. Probably will go for presents. But and it smells pretty cool. Okay, next items. I it's going to be close. You see this t shirt? You see? It's nice t-shirt. I brought two of them in this color. It's like blue teal color. And I think you saw it uh, in my uh, party video. This is a uh, purple color. I, I really like it. Really, really much. Another fun factor. It's just for fun. Even though I know how to dance belly dance. Interesting enough. Just interesting fact about me. This is this. Do you hear it? It's really nice scarf. You put it, you put it on your hips, and then you start to shake, and you have to hear all the time the the sound of the of those things. I have no idea what it is coins. All the time the sound of the coins. Just pretty and beautiful and I had to have it probably uh, this scarf actually it's not for myself it's for my partner she has this very bland outfit like brownish and when you put this one on um, on her neck or sometimes she put this kind of uh, stuff on your um, belly it looks like very unique and beautiful 
It doesn't look so beautiful by itself though. It just as it is. And another scarves are pretty amazing. Those are you have to work it in your outfit, but they are huge as you see. But they are so gorgeous and so unique with this beautiful print on it. This can uh, upgrade very bland outfit. Even jeans with t-shirt, if you put this on top, it looks amazing. And you don't need to really think about what you put in what you put like from a and you don't need to think what you put down you can upgrade always with those kind of stuff if you know how to do it this one amazing as well bring a little of reddish color it doesn't look so amazing just as it is but it's pretty cool in outfit really nice especially if you're a big woman like me sometimes you can make this kind of patterns work towards your slimminess and if you know how to work it you just you know, you just can uh, show that you're slim enough and fun enough to go with because I know a lot of people in my size like to be black or you know very bland outfits and think those kind very give it this size even this is the last color this is pretty much amazing color and I don't I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate this one in my outfits because they have like two colors basically this one and this one but I'm going to figure it out anyways so I think I'm done no, I'm not. I have another thing and funny story to tell about my child's okay. toy. Are you prepared? Are you sure? You want to see what it is? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Let's do it. Woohoo! Yes. This is water gun. My brother, it's, um, I told him, bring him some uh, presents. So he asked me if I can bring the largest one. And I thought that the largest one going to be silly me. Something like this, not too huge. Or something, it's, it has two parts. One part that you put on your back and what you hold. So it's like pretty much very compact. No. By any means, he decided to bring the largest one. You see? And I had a lot of trouble to bring it into Canada. You can imagine, I placed it inside my bag. And uh, when I uh, got to my passport control in Israel, you can imagine, it, they were went freak out what it's it. And if I bring in like uh, some kind of uh, weapon and etc. And I like, I forgot all about it. So I got like, you know, anxious and uh, mad and what happened and uh, they were laughing in the end everyone were laughing but it took me 45 minutes to come through the through the passport control I stuck pretty well there only because of this one so that's it this is the story of my arrival to Canada from Israel I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to comment me about anything and if you like the video hit the like button and um, if you don't subscribe to me please do for another fun videos and food videos and recipes as usual and i love you all and share my videos with your friends and family and i really 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 do love you i hope you're all all well and I hope you're happy healthy and fun and I have a lot of interesting ideas in the future so love you guys really 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 much bye see you next time bye 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 bye